Hello y'all, welcome back to the channel. You know it's Siobhan Beckford. It's summer, it's burning hot. I am currently cooking right now in Jamaica. The last time I checked the weather temperature thing on my phone, it was 35 degrees outside. Celsius that is, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, maybe 90 something, I don't know. And yeah, I'm burning up. In this video, I will be running through a quick, maybe not so quick, I will be running through my desk setup, you know, I'm very budget friendly, very budget friendly guy. And I wanted to share with you guys how I set up my workstation, my desk, what I have on my desk, where I got what I have on my desk, and how everything comes together to create this whole creative workstation that I have whether it is to create videos like these for you guys or to work on my client projects. So without any further ado, let me dive right into this desk setup video for you guys, Siobhan Beckford style. Let's go, hot. Welcome to my workstation guys. This is where all the magic happens. Nothing too fancy, but it's very effective for my workflow. To top it all off, let's start with the desk. Now this is a glass top desk. It's tempered glass. I was a bit skeptical at first that I might break it in a few weeks or months, but it's been going pretty well. It's over six months since I've gotten this desk right here and it's holding up very well. It's a desk from Xtech. I'll leave a link to the desk in the description. I'll leave a link for everything I will be going through if I can leave a link in the description. So let's move right along. Desk, it holds my laptop, laptop cooling pad, my monitor, my little accessories. It has this little thing right here for a keyboard and mouse, which is a given for office type desks, which holds my keyboard right here, which I will be going to now. And this is the K400 Plus from Logitech. Now the reason why I got this keyboard is because it was very affordable of course. This is a budget friendly setup and this uses the Logitech unifying receiver right here. So I can connect both the mouse, I don't know if it's in focus, I'll do some b-rolls, the mouse and the keyboard to the same receiver. And one of the reasons I love this keyboard is because it can be connected to both Windows and Android. I'm not sure if it's compatible with iOS. I will try to do some tests and research in the future, but it's very good for my phone if I want to connect it to my phone and also for my Windows setup. Moving right along. I have my mouse right here, which I use very often. This is the Logitech M510. It also connects to the unifying device, as I mentioned earlier. Now, one of the main reasons why I got this mouse is because it was affordable. It has seven buttons, and most of the buttons on this mouse are customizable. So you have the back and forward button here. You can customize them to do other functions than back and forth. With the app, I can program these buttons to do custom functions. Like, let's say I'm in Photoshop, and I want this to be my move tool and this to be my quick selection tool. I can set this to W and this to V. So whenever I hit this, it activates as if I hit V on the keyboard. Whenever I hit this, it activates like I hit W on the keyboard. Also, instead of just going vertically up and down when scrolling, it has horizontal buttons so I can take a website or web page or whatever side to side while scrolling and browsing. And I also like the size of the mouse, fits in my hand perfectly because my hands are relatively big and it's a bit heavy. The response, everything, it's perfect for me. I'm an editor, not a gamer, so I don't really care that much about DPI. It's very responsive, fast, smooth. Yeah, and I have with the mouse, this little mouse pad over here from Technet. Got it for about 10 bucks on Amazon has this wrist pad right here, which keeps my wrist very comfortable, like this. When I'm browsing or editing, so my wrist is not rubbing on the table to cause any ab abrasion 
on my wrist and hurt my wrist. There's there's a name for this disease. What's it called? Some there's a there's a name for the wrist thing, IT or whatever. Moving right along. Over here, I have my SEPTA monitor. I am not too sure of the model number. I'll leave something on the screen of what model it is. It's 1920 by 1080. It's an IPS panel. It's not OLED. It has 60 Hertz for its refresh rate. No speakers built in. It has HDMI, VGA, and it has audio in audio output so I can connect a speaker from the monitor, from the audio it's receiving from the computer. Um, the sRGB, it's not the best, it's not the most color accurate monitor on the market, but I use it for browsing, for previewing stuff. I don't use it for color correction or color or anything color related because it's not a very color accurate monitor. It gets the job done. It's more real estate for editing. Moving right along. Over here, this is the base of all operation. This is my laptop. This is the Acer Aspire 7 model A71772G700J. Yeah, I remember that. It's running Intel i7, 8th gen, it's running NVIDIA GTX 1060 with 6 gigabytes of DDR5 VRAM on board dedicated to the graphics card. It came with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but I upgraded it to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It came with 250 gigs of SSD MVME storage. I upgraded that to 512 gigabytes of MVME storage. It also came with 500 gigabytes of HDD storage. I upgraded that to one terabyte of AD. <laughs> to one terabyte of HDD storage. It's a pretty fast setup for my current workflow. I'm kind of growing out of it so far, so I might be upgrading soon. Not might, I will be upgrading soon. I like large laptops like this. Gives me better cooling. Also, I like 17 inch laptops for more real estate for video editing and After Effects animation. Also, Windows device are normally flooded with I.O. input and output. So I have three USB-A ports, I have a USB-C, I have Ethernet, I have HDMI, SD card slot, I have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over here, and yeah, now peripherals that I have for my laptop, I have a Western Digital 2TB portable HDD over here, where I use the dump files, um, I have a Samsung portable SSD T5 one terabyte over here for my editing files uh, and yeah over here on the desk I have my SD card holder because I like to keep my things protected so I don't lose anything all my SD cards are here for my drone camera the adapters everything in one place so I don't lose anything and it's water and dust sealed with this gasket so that's pretty neat yeah moving right along over here i have an anchor speaker from anchor soundcore i got this from 2019 it's over four years since i've gotten this speaker it's not it's nothing special it was the best seller on amazon at the time it's pretty beat up i use it when i want to hear more from whatever it is that i'm doing or listen to some music or watch movie or something added some more volume this is a fake plant for decoration yeah paperweight stole it from my girlfriend so i can't give you guys a link for how much this costs but it's less than 10 bucks you know you can get any fake plant on amazon for decoration it's nothing important it's just for aesthetics yeah <sighs> quick hot break guys if you're finding this video interesting Remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now let's continue before I melt. Moving right along, we have this thing. It's an air freshener. It smells really good. Yeah, I can't really work in places where the scent isn't right, so I keep it to keep my work area fresh, properly scented, you know? And yeah, moving right along. Now, moving along over here, I have the cooling pad. 
now this cooling pad was bought from all the way back in 2020 it's a top made cooling pad and what i like about this cooling pad is the fact that it has six fans it has two big ones and four little ones and it has rgb lights all around it and blue rgb lights well led lights they stay to one color in the fans itself now what's cool about this cooling pad is it has different modes for both the lights i can change how the lights respond and I can also go between the speed of the fans, you know? You have max, and I can go down to one through to five. So I have different modes at which the fans work to cool the laptop. Obviously, I'm gonna keep it on the highest mode to keep my laptop as cool as possible, but if you want to adjust the modes, if the fan noise is affecting you, you can adjust it here. So it's pretty cool and it costs less than 50 bucks. As I said, I'll leave a link to everything I'm talking about here in the description. Now, this cooling pad is pretty cool because it has this little phone holder over here. You can hold my phone so I can see my phone while I'm working on my laptop. Also, it has two USB ports around the back. You won't be able to see from this angle. I'll do some B-rolls. So if I'm powering it from the laptop, the USB port that it's occupying on the laptop will be available on the cooling pad but because I don't want to be sticking anything all the way around there I run the power to the cooling pad directly from my extension under the table so yeah over here this is a little shelf it's very close to my desk it's not a part of my desk but plays a vital role so I'll talk about it as well I got this entire shelf system on Amazon this is a Sony headphone nothing special nothing too expensive I use it to consume content as well as to listen to my sounds while I'm editing videos and yeah moving right along up here on the top of my King Crisis light good old King Crisis days pendant stuff holder a painting from a sip and paint I did with my girlfriend. A wallet, you know, you, you have to have these, very important. A little notebook that I use to take notes before I go to bed and what I want to execute the next day. And I have this stencil knife for when I want to open boxes. Down here, I have quite a few stuff. My shades for whenever I'm going out in the sun, you know, have to protect my eyes. I have two of them, keys. I have keys for my hard drive, of course. You know, I have to keep them safe in case I'm traveling. Um, I got these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, I know most of my things are for 10 bucks. <laughs> Down here, I have extra lights, some sticky notes, cables, down there is empty. This is my microfiber cloth for whenever my desk is dusty because Jamaica is very dusty, especially in summer where I'm at, St. Elizabeth. So, yeah, this is my desk, guys. So, my sound panels here behind my setup they serve two purposes they are for aesthetic that's one and for sound treatment because they are sound panels i use them to reduce echoing reverb from the room because it's a fully concrete room and they help to soak up most of the sounds from bouncing all over the place to help give my video a better audio treatment whenever i am recording videos or audio file content for social media or professional work i'll leave a link to these panels in the description it was a 48 pack that i got in a box on amazon and they get the job done both the jobs that are assigned to them they get it done yeah Like I mentioned before guys, it's nothing too serious, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing expensive. It's just a nice budget setup that gets the job done and get it done properly. I'll leave a link to everything that I can in the description. So if you guys saw anything that you like and want to add to your setup, you can go ahead and grab that item, whatever it is, 
or if you want to have or create a similar setup you will be able to create a similar setup in total this setup cost me around yeah that's the figure that this setup ran me excluding my laptop it would have been around I just wanted to give you guys that information. I know you probably have your computer already, so if you're getting this setup, it won't include the price of a new laptop or even a monitor. It would just be like maybe the accessories I have around the setup, so pretty understandable. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know how long I can go without air conditioning. Anyways, quick note. The things I have here on this setup weren't accumulated in a short space of time. Everything here I started getting from around 2020 up to 2023. So it took me three years to have everything I have here together. I live in Jamaica so it's pretty hard to get tech stuff into the country because our importation fee is 50% once you purchase something over $50 overseas online so it's pretty hard for us to get tech here into jamaica like 50 percent of a thousand dollars is 500 dollars. so if we're buying something for a thousand dollars online it will be 1500 automatically before taxes so we have to bear that in mind whenever we're making our setup or getting any tech related stuff geez i'm burning up if you guys want to see more videos like these feel free to hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button so the algorithm can like me some more and without any further ado i'll be signing out siobhan beckford see you in the next one Mercy. My heart is filled with love.